So I'm gonna take you on an adventure today and we're gonna go shopping and we're gonna find the best craft supplies for fall crafting this year. So we're gonna start out at Michael's, we're then gonna go to Joann's, we're gonna end at Hobby Lobby and we're gonna decide today which store has the best fall crafting DIYs. So let's go shopping. So we're gonna start out here at Michael's. My store is a mini Michael's. And if you don't know what a mini Michael's is, it's like half the size of a real Michael's. But we're gonna go in and see what we can find for crafting supplies for fall here. Let's see, I've only shopped here once, so we'll see if that was validated or not. Let's go in and shop. So I'm here in the store and honestly, the only thing I've really been able to find was Halloween. So nothing's on sale and it's all pretty pricey. So I'm only going to pick up that one wreath that's on sale for 70% and then I'm going to go to the next place. I am not joking about Halloween. I'm going to give you a video of like this area and it's all decorating for Halloween. If you're into decorating for Halloween, this is the place to be. Oh my gosh, there's more. I'm gonna take another video. Hold on. <laughs> Overall, I didn't find anything that I thought was a good price or really there wasn't much like fall crafting. It was a lot of Halloween as you guys saw, but the only thing I picked up was this wreath right here. It was 70% off in their spring selection. So let's go on to Joann's and see if we can find anything there. We're here. Let's run on into Joann's and see what we can find here for fall crafting. I'm hoping it's better than the last place that we were just at. So let's go in and find out. Oh my goodness, you guys, more Halloween. I don't seem to have quite as much as Michael's did, but if you're a Halloween decorator, this is your time to shine. <laughs> let's keep looking. So we've hit the fall decor aisle, but so far I haven't seen any like DIY stuff or unfinished wood stuff, so we'll keep looking. I had to stop at my favorite aisle. Can you see that? Because <laughs> if you know, you know. And they had stickers on sale, so yes please. <laughs> Let's keep looking. So we're in the floral department and honestly I haven't been able to find any like wood decor or anything for fall. But the florals are 50% off so if you're looking for some high-end florals that's a pretty good deal and cheaper than Hobby Lobby. It looks like all the bushels are about $12.99 so that would make them about $6.50. They are pretty good. Let's pick one up here. Like you get a pretty full bundle. This one is $5.99 so this would be $3. Not too bad if you're gonna go for the bigger ones. So let's find a bigger bushel. These are really pretty. Um, but this bushel right here is $12.99 but you get those really beautiful flowers in there. So this one would be $6.50. So the garlands are on sale as well. They're half off and you can pick them up between 10 and about $15. This one right here is my favorite. I love like untraditional colors for fall. I like the white leaves, but they do have traditional leaves and they have some that have like some pine cones and stuff. So this is probably cheaper than Hobby Lobby too. We'll check when we get there. Well, 
you guys, I expected to find something there <laughs> and there wasn't. The only thing I would suggest getting at Joann's is their florals. They do have some really pretty ones and they are 50% off versus 40% off at Hobby Lobby. So that was really a bust. The only thing I bought was this notebook because I'm just a happy planner addict, I guess, but I needed some paper and it's Winnie the Pooh and there you go. Anyway, we're gonna get back in the car. We're headed to Hobby Lobby where I know we're gonna find some supplies and let's see what we can get. Hi friends, I'm just popping in to remind you to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family today. If you're enjoying today's video, make sure you put a little car emoji in the comments. Now let's get back to shopping. All right, friends, here we are. We are at Hobby Lobby and I know they have stuff because if you saw my last video, I crafted with it. <laughs> but we're gonna go in and we're gonna find some new things to craft with today. So overall for me shopping at Hobby Lobby is just so much better than going to the other two choices. Now I will preface that by saying in my town Hobby Lobby is like three times the size of either one of those stores. So if you have a bigger Joann's or a bigger Michael's it might be more variety than what I could find here. But for me this is the place that I seem to find the best deals and the most options. So we're going to pick up some items and we're going to go home and we're going to DIY with them. So let's get there. A quick side note here Hobby Lobby has these interchangeable trucks. I found them in two places. I was able to find them one in the fall crafting area, one in the spring crafting area. They are essentially the same project. The spring one is $17.99, the fall one is $12.99. So you almost wanna grab the fall one because it seems like it's gonna be cheaper. However, because of the price differences and the sale price differences, the spring one actually is cheaper. So if you can find them and that's something that you wanna craft with, definitely pick up the spring one and craft with that one instead. Well, that's a wrap, friends. We went to three different stores where we found out that Hobby Lobby has the best fall DIY crafts. Stay tuned for next week's video where I craft with the items we picked up today. And if you can't wait till next week, check out this video right here where I talk about whether or not the unfinished wood at Hobby Lobby is worth the price. As always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.